Architecture isn't just about structures, it's about shaping the world of tomorrow. From Sydney's solar-powered fish market to Osaka's wooden grand ring, these groundbreaking projects redefine urban living with sustainability and innovation. In Cholula, a school merges seamlessly with nature, while Riyadh's metro stations transform into public art. Oxford's life and mind building advances science, and Luxembourg's Sky Park sets new eco-friendly standards. From Dakar's cultural treasure to Taipei's elegant Danjiang Bridge, each design tells a story of ambition, creativity, and a sustainable future. New Sydney Fish Market, Sydney. Beneath Sydney's ever-changing skyline, a remarkable transformation is underway at one of the city's most iconic landmarks. Known as the world's third largest fish market, the new Sydney fish market is embarking on an exciting new chapter, one that artfully blends rich history with modern innovation. Imagine a place where tradition and technology dance together. Over eight years ago, the New South Wales government unveiled an ambitious plan to relocate Sydney's historic fish market a vibrant institution with roots stretching back to 1870 the 1870s and a proud history on its current site since 1966. Today, that vision has taken shape in a gleaming four-story marvel, gracefully set on an adjacent 3.6 hectare expanse. Designed by the visionary teams at 3XN Architects and BVN, this reimagined facility promises a multi-sensory fish market experience that caters both to the curious visitor and the seasoned industry professional. Hidden away in the basement, a meticulously organized hub of logistics and operations keeps the market running like clockwork. Ascend to the upper floors and you'll find a bustling market hall where visitors can soak in the atmosphere and an auction hall alive with the energy of restaurateurs and retailers eagerly bidding on the day's freshest catches as they glide in on pontoons. But the transformation doesn't stop there. This landmark project is set to rejuvenate an overlooked corner of the harbor. Alongside the market, a vibrant urban precinct is emerging, complete with boutique shops, inviting restaurants, a scenic promenade, and a lush park. Crowning this architectural wonder is a distinctive undulating roof, elegantly crowned with 350 triangular solar panels, symbolizing a commitment to sustainability and a forward-thinking future. Grand Ring, Osaka. Imagine a world where innovation and tradition blend seamlessly, where cultures converge, and where the boundaries of possibility are pushed to new limits. Welcome to Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan, where the future is being rewritten before our very eyes. At the heart of this visionary event lies the Grand Ring, a majestic wooden structure that stretches over 1.2 miles its curves a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. This iconic landmark is more than just a remarkable feat of engineering. It's a symbol of hope, a beacon of inspiration, and a reminder that together we can achieve the impossible. As visitors from around the world gather in Osaka, they'll be treated to a kaleidoscope of experiences that will challenge, inspire, and delight. From interactive exhibits that showcase the latest advancements in technology and sustainability to cultural performances that celebrate the rich heritage of Japan and beyond, Expo 2025 is a celebration of human creativity and innovation. But Expo 2025 is more than just a spectacular event. It's a call to action. It's a reminder that we have the power to shape our own destiny to create a future that's more just, more peaceful, and more wondrous than we ever thought possible. So come and be a part of this extraordinary journey and let's create a brighter tomorrow together. Canadian School, Cholula. Nestled in the ancient evocative landscape of Cholula, where the whispers of a pre-Hispanic pyramid mingle with the imposing presence of the Popocatépetl volcano, a new kind of learning environment has taken shape. The Canadian School by Sordo Madaleno emerges not as a stark, isolated structure, but as a gentle extension of its surroundings, an organic haven that leaves only the faintest trace on the land. Inspired by the natural curves of the terrain, the serene campus is arranged around seven interlocking circular forms that echo the rolling hills of the region. These overlapping terraces invite students to wander through green, inviting spaces where nature and education coalesce. In this visionary design, every building becomes more than just a structure, 
It transforms into an integral part of the playground, a dynamic stage where the lessons of the past and the promise of the future meet. Mexican architect Fernando Sordo Madaleno, carrying forward the legacy of his grandfather, Juan Sordo Madaleno, shared that the design's brilliance lies in its ability to blend seamlessly with the landscape. Here, the architecture itself is a playful, interactive canvas, a subtle nod to the region's deep cultural roots and a bold step toward a sustainable future. This inspiring project not only redefines what a school can be, but also exemplifies how thoughtful design can honor both history and nature, creating a space where every element is in harmony with its environment. Life and Mind, Building, Oxford. In Oxford's revered academic landscape, a groundbreaking addition is redefining the boundaries of scientific exploration. The Life and Mind Building stands as a testament to innovation. Its 270,000 square feet of cutting-edge design and state-of-the-art facilities poised to revolutionize the way we approach research and discovery. The building's sleek, modern aesthetic is tempered by a thoughtful nod to Oxford's rich architectural heritage. Clean lines, natural materials, and an abundance of natural light create a workspace that is both inspiring and functional. It's here that the brightest minds in experimental psychology and biology will converge, driven by a shared passion for advancing our understanding of the human experience. At the building's heart lies a spacious public plaza, a vibrant hub of creative energy and intellectual curiosity. It's a place where chance encounters spark new ideas, where collaboration and innovation thrive, and where the next generation of scientific leaders will take shape. The Life and Mind Building is more than just a physical structure. It's a beacon of possibility, a symbol of Oxford's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. Riyadh Metro, Riyadh. In the heart of Riyadh, where ambition meets tradition, a transformative chapter in urban transit is unfolding. The Riyadh Metro, a bold endeavor that has been in the works for over a decade, is set to redefine the pulse of the Saudi capital. With six expansive lines and an astounding capacity to serve 3.6 million passengers daily, this modern marvel promises to ease traffic congestion and usher in a new era of sustainable urban mobility. At the core of this revolutionary network are its stations, true works of art that blend state-of-the-art engineering with a deep respect for local heritage. Take, for example, the Kasser al Hakkum downtown metro station, a masterpiece conceived by the Norwegian firm Snøhetta. Here, a striking stainless steel canopy crowns the station, channeling natural light into its cavernous interior while offering shelter from the relentless desert sun. This design, with its fluid reflective surfaces, creates an inviting public plaza that stands as a symbol of Riyadh's renaissance. Even as the metro's lines have begun to pulse with life, having already inaugurated several routes in November, the full system is still coming together, with completion anticipated in the new year. Amid the multitude of iconic stations, the work of international design luminaries such as Zaha Hadid Architects, Gerber Architekten, and Snohetta ensure that every stop is not just a transit point, but a destination in itself. In this dynamic tapestry of urban innovation, Riyadh Metro is not merely a transportation system, it's a bold vision for the future of the city. Sky Park Business Center, Luxembourg. Luxembourg's commitment to sustainable innovation is boldly embodied in the Sky Park Business Center. As Europe pushes forward with wooden construction, illustrated by France's new mandate for public buildings to use at least 50% timber, this project stands out as one of the continent's largest hybrid wooden structures. Spanning more than 844,000 square feet, the center was built using over 542,000 cubic feet of timber, enough to fill six Olympic-sized pools, and features a copper facade made from 80% recycled metal. The design is defined by two sinuous interlacing strips that traverse the site in a dynamic zigzag pattern. Their intersections form a network of courtyards and roof terraces, ensuring that every occupant is never more than 50 meters from a verdant green terrace. Developed by big architects, this innovative layout not only maximizes daylight and air, but also creates inviting communal spaces. 
Set to complete its first phase in February, the Sky Park Business Center will primarily house offices, complemented by shops and a hotel. Moreover, its ground-level courtyards are designed to welcome passers-by and even offer plane enthusiasts scenic views of the nearby Luxembourg Airport. South Station Redevelopment, Boston. Boston South Station, the pulsing heart of New England's transportation network, is on the cusp of a thrilling transformation. As the redevelopment project nears completion, the bustling terminal is poised to unveil a sleek, modern expansion that seamlessly blends heritage and innovation. The visionary team at Pelly Clark and Partners has masterfully risen to the challenge, crafting a soaring 51-story skyscraper that appears to defy gravity while respectfully honoring the historic Classical Revival Station Building. This iconic landmark, listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places since 1899, remains an integral part of the city's fabric. The juxtaposition of the tower's gleaming glass facade and the weathered stone of the original station building creates a striking visual dialogue. Yet, the tower's sculptural form is designed to complement its historic counterpart, forging a harmonious balance between old and new. Meanwhile, the expanded arched concourse welcomes visitors with a grand sweeping gesture, setting the tone for a memorable arrival in Boston. Goethe Institute, Dakar. In the vibrant city of Dakar, Senegal, a revolutionary architectural masterpiece is redefining the urban landscape. Designed by Francis Carré, the first African winner of the prestigious Pritzker Prize, the new Goethe Institute building is a testament to the power of locally inspired design, blending seamlessly into the surrounding environment. Carré's vision is rooted in his passion for vernacular architecture, which celebrates traditional building techniques and materials. The 18,300-square-foot building's undulating curves echo the surrounding tree canopies, creating a sense of harmony and balance. The lattice-structured walls, crafted from locally-sourced, earth-compacted bricks, not only promote natural ventilation, but also filter the intense sunlight, casting intricate shadows that dance across the interior spaces. The building's design is a masterful response to the local climate, with large overhangs and shaded areas providing respite from the scorching sun. The earthy scent of the bricks and the warmth of the wooden accents create a sensory experience that is deeply rooted in the local culture. By incorporating traditional techniques and materials, Carey aims to create buildings that are not only functional, but also deeply meaningful, fostering a sense of community and pride among the people who inhabit them. For Carre, using local materials is not just a design choice, but a way to empower communities and promote sustainable development. By supporting local economies and preserving traditional knowledge, he believes that architecture can be a powerful tool for positive change. The Goethe Institute building is a shining example of this philosophy, a harmonious blend of modernity and tradition that redefines the possibilities of African architecture. Teco International Airport, Phnom Penh. In a bold bid to catapult Cambodia onto the global tourism stage, Phnom Penh's outdated international airport is giving way to a futuristic aviation hub, Teco International Airport. This gargantuan project, spearheaded by renowned architects Foster plus partners, promises to revolutionize the country's tourism landscape. Located 12 miles south of the city center, the terminal building will rank among Southeast Asia's largest, boasting an initial capacity for 13 million annual passengers, a number projected to soar to 30 million in the future. But what truly sets Tico International Airport apart is its unwavering commitment to sustainability. An on-site solar farm will harness the power of the sun, earning the airport a coveted spot among the world's greenest. Inspired by the timeless elegance of traditional Cambodian design, the terminal's undulating roof appears to float effortlessly above a series of structural timber trees, a striking nod to the country's rich cultural heritage. Real trees will also rise majestically through a spacious central void, injecting a touch of tropical splendor into the airport's sleek, modern interior. As passengers navigate the terminal, they'll be treated to a masterclass in innovative design. A gridded steel shell filters the sunlight, casting dappled shadows across the lush greenery that thrives within. 
Two sweeping airfoil-shaped wings will transport travelers to their gates, evoking the sensation of flight even before they board their planes. As Teco International Airport takes to the skies, it's clear that Cambodia's future in aviation has never looked brighter. Urban Glen, Hangzhou. In the picturesque city of Hangzhou, a breathtaking architectural masterpiece is rising from the landscape. Urban Glen, a visionary project designed by Ole Sheeran's renowned firm, Bureau Ole Sheeran, is redefining the urban skyline with its pair of dramatically stepped towers. These towering structures, which contain nearly 900,000 square feet of office, hotel, and leisure space, appear to cascade into a lush, man-made valley. The undulating rooftops, adorned with verdant greenery, evoke the rolling hills that surround Hangzhou on three sides, creating a seamless harmony between architecture and nature. One of the towers is home to the luxurious Rosewood Hotel, offering guests an unparalleled level of comfort and sophistication. As they step into the hotel's elegant lobby, they are enveloped in a world of refined luxury with impeccable design and exceptional service. The complex's design is not only visually stunning, but also thoughtfully functional. The stepped rooftops create a series of intimate, human-scale spaces, perfect for relaxation, entertainment, or simply taking in the breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. The incorporation of public art and carefully curated retail spaces adds to the complex's dynamic energy, making Urban Glen a vibrant hub of activity in the heart of Hangzhou. With Urban Glen, Ole Sheeran and his team have once again pushed the boundaries of innovative design, creating a truly unique and captivating addition to Hangzhou's urban landscape. This magnificent complex is a testament to the power of architecture to transform and elevate our surroundings, creating spaces that inspire, delight, and uplift us. Danjiang Bridge, Taipei. In Taipei, Taiwan, a monumental feat of engineering and design is nearing completion. The Danjiang Bridge, a majestic 3,018-foot-long structure that will connect four major highways over the mouth of the Tom Sui River. This iconic bridge, one of the last projects personally overseen, by the legendary Zaha Hadid before her passing is a testament to her innovative spirit, unique aesthetic, and enduring legacy. The Danjiang Bridge's surprisingly slender profile belies its impressive scale, with the entire structure supported by a single concrete mast. This ingenious design minimizes the bridge's visual impact on its surroundings, creating a sense of fluidity and harmony with the natural landscape. The mast's asymmetrical placement adds a touch of dynamic elegance, as if the bridge is poised to take flight over the river. When completed, the Danjiang Bridge will proudly hold the title of the world's longest single-mast, asymmetrical cable-stayed bridge. This remarkable achievement is a testament to Hadid's boundary-pushing approach to design, which consistently challenged conventional wisdom and redefined the possibilities of the modern architecture. Despite the structural simplicity, the bridge's rounded edges and gently warped form are unmistakably Hadid-esque. The late architect's signature style, characterized by flowing curves and dynamic shapes, is beautifully captured in this magnificent structure. As the Danjiang Bridge prepares to open its gates, it stands as a poignant reminder of Hadid's enduring legacy and her profound influence on modern architecture. The Danjiang Bridge is not just a functional transportation artery. It's a work of art that will inspire and delight all who cross it. As the sun sets over the Tam Sui River, the bridge's sleek curved silhouette will be bathed in a warm, golden light, creating a breathtaking spectacle that will leave a lasting impression on all who witness it.